according to these people operating these weapons and tormenting me. Uh, I just, my mind, it, you know, you know how, how it's like hard for some people to imagine, okay, how does, uh, you know, in, in one dollar bills, how does a million dollar look? Well, I cannot comprehend the, the mind, the evil mind of somebody that goes nine to five to torture people you know, with computers just playing, you know, just tormenting them with each okay. Just, just like, you know, the Michael Oil Jazz too. But, but, um, this, 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 this entails a little bit more. They have to put together the, the messages and, for example, one of my, you know, my plaintiffs, the voices, the voices are it. The families, the relatives, including, including his stepfather. And that is just the ultimate cruelty, you know, the ultimate cruelty of, of a mother in Ohio with, with a daughter with Down syndrome, and the mother does not is the targeted one, but they're both targeted, and the father too, and the mother, she doesn't have it, okay, but they pull into the daughter with Down syndrome until she falls asleep out of sheer exhaustion, because she's fighting all night with these girls that she cannot comprehend where they come from. And let me tell you, because I did the research, people that have Down syndrome don't have schizophrenia. It's not like one of the things that they can develop. You see, it's just, it's a mutually exclusive kind of thing. So, it's not, uh, and, you, and we all know it, that it's not, you know, it's not a schizophrenia or psychosis. So, um, it, 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 just imagine that mother hearing that daughter screaming all night until she falls asleep out of sheer exhaustion. And I, that's the kind of evil that, you know, that's the kind of evil I can't comprehend. But, so these are the stories that give me the strength to when I can no longer withstand the pain. If I could, you know, if only you saw me, thank God that this is not a full comfort. But I have a lot of eyes all over my body and my head because they're, they're trying really hard to, to destroy my brain. I mean, my, I have huge gaps in my brain, you know, my, my brain has to really be affected, but, um, but it can work, and, and I'm saying, it, you know, these microwaves make me smarter. <laughs> it's a bad voice, the grace of God, I, I don't know if the grace of God, but uh, it has made me be able to produce food. In my case, um, it's um, you, uh, my heart, my heart. I'm sorry, and you're, you're, you're captive in a cell, and they're all around you, up in the corners of the room, uh, wherever they choose to be, and you are a captive audience again, not only by the system, but by the person. Go ahead, excuse me. Yeah. It's, no, it's, to me, I, you know, I, my heart goes out. I, I, I am in a deep uh, awe and respect and I honor the people that have been too gay because I don't have it. And even though they have done really atrocious things, they do atrocious things to me. Like, I'm not going to get into it because it's not about for me for me. But I am a, in awe of the people that uh, can handle and, and, and function with a B2K because I can understand how they behave like that. And I admire every single one of you out there. Um, it, 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 like, but then I have to say that I am, uh, I, my, my mind cannot comprehend the degree of evil that goes into these people operating these weapons and tormenting people. Uh, I just, my mind, it, you know, you know how, how it's like hard for some people to imagine, okay, how does, uh, you know, in, in one dollar bills, how does a million dollar look? Well, I cannot comprehend the mind, the evil mind of somebody that goes nine to five to torture people okay, with computers, just playing, you know, just tormenting them with each okay. Just, just like, you know, the Michael Oil Jazz too. But, but, um, this, 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 this entails a little bit more. They have to put together the, the messages and, for example, one of my, one of my plaintiffs, the voices, the voices of it, the families, the relatives, including, including his dead father. Why? And 
that is just the ultimate cruelty, you know, or ultimate cruelty of a mother in Ohio with a daughter with Down syndrome, and the mother doesn't, it's the targeted one, well, they're both targeted and the father too, and the mother, she doesn't have to be okay, but they film into the daughter with Down syndrome, on a panel, she falls asleep out of sheer exhaustion, because she's fighting all night with these places she can not come from. And let me tell you, because I did the research, people that have Down syndrome don't have schizophrenia. It's not like one of the things that they can develop. You see, it's just, it's a one mutually exclusive kind of So, it's not, uh, and you and we all know it, but it's not, you know, it's not a schizophrenia or psychosis. So, um, it, 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 just imagine that mother hearing that daughter screaming all night until she falls asleep out of sheer exhaustion. And I, that's the kind of evil that, you know, that's the kind of evil I can't comprehend. But, so these are the stories that give me the strength to, when I can no longer stand the pain. If I could, you know, if only you saw me, thank God that this is not a full comfort. But I have a lot of that glow in my body and my head because they're, they're trying really hard to, to destroy my brain. I mean, my, I have huge gaps in my brain. You know, my, my brain has to really be affected. But, um, but it still works, and, and I'm saying, it, you know, these microwaves make me smarter. <laughs> it's not that much the grace of God. I, I don't know if it's the grace of God, but uh, that has made me be able to produce. In my case, um, it's my life's work to put these people away and stop this once and for all, all over the world. And I look to, to attorneys like yourself all over the world, such as um, the case that's running parallel to yours now, been running for quite some time, um, that's Decatur, and that's in Belgium, probably for me. Um, they are moving ahead, and it just makes me is that we have been able to get the information to file this case. So uh, when, you, when you see their numbers, right now we estimate conservatively that there's 300,000 TIs in the United States conservatively. And that's a huge amount of people being tortured. That's very, very close to the accepted amount that I have and that I have computed over the years. I used to say that there were 25% that are in prisons, 25% that are in mental institutions, 25% uh, that haven't come forward, and the other 25% are you and me. And everyone is. That makes that makes a lot of sense. We get we get a lot of correspondence from inmates, and they're tortured. Imagine how horrible, how horrible it must be to be tortured in a jail where you can't even get a little water bag to cover your head. Um, you, uh, my heart, my heart. I'm sorry, and you're, you're you're captive in a cell, and they're all around you up in the corners of the room, uh, wherever they choose to be, and you are a captive audience again, not only by the system, but by the perks. Go ahead, excuse me. Yeah, it's, no, it's, to me, I, you know, I, my heart goes out. I, I, I am in deep awe and respect, and I honor the people that have been too gay, because I don't have it. And even though they have done really atrocious things, they do atrocious things to me. Like, I'm not going to get into it because it's not about for me, for me. But I am a, a awe of the people that uh, can handle and, and, and function with a me too gay, because I can understand how they play like that. And I admire every single one of you out there. Um, it, the, 
like, but then I have to say that I am, uh, my, my mind cannot comprehend the degree of evil that goes into these people operating these weapons and tormenting people. Uh, I just, my mind, you know, you know how, how it's like hard for some people to imagine, okay, how does, uh, you know, in, in one dollar bills, how does a million dollar look? Well, I cannot comprehend the mind, the evil mind of somebody that goes nine to five to torture people you know, with computers just playing, you know, just tormenting them with such okay. Just, just like, you know, the microwave or fast food. Because um, this entails a little bit more. They have to put together the, the messages and, for example, one of my plaintiffs, the voices, the voices of it, the families of the relatives, including, including his dead father. And that is just the ultimate cruelty, you know, the well, ultimate cruelty of, of a mother in Ohio with, with a daughter with Down syndrome. And the mother does a it's the targeted one, but they're both targeted and the father too. And the mother, she doesn't have it, okay, but they turn into the daughter with Down syndrome until she falls asleep out of sheer exhaustion because she's fighting all night with these voices. She cannot comprehend where they come from. And let me tell you, because I did the research, people that have Down syndrome don't have schizophrenia. It's not like one of the things that they can develop. You see, it's just, it's it one mutually exclusive kind of so, It's not, uh, and, you, and we all know it, that it's not, you know, it's not it's schizophrenia or psychosis. So, um, it, 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 just imagine that mother hearing that daughter screaming all night until she falls asleep out of sheer exhaustion. And I, that's the kind of evil that, you know, that's the kind of evil I can't comprehend. But, so these are the stories that give me the strength to when I can no longer withstand the pain. If I could, you know, if only you saw me, thank God that this is not a full comfort. But I have a lot of that in my body and my head. So they're, they're trying real hard to, to destroy my brain. I mean, my, I have huge gaps in my brain, you know, my, my brain has to really be affected, but, um, but it can work, and, and I'm saying, you know, these microwaves make me smarter. <laughs> it's not that great. It's the grace of God. I, I really do the grace of God, but uh, that has made me be able to produce food. In my case, um, it's my life's work to put these people away and stop this once and for all, all over the world. And I look to, to attorneys like yourself all over the world, such as um, the case that's running parallel to yours now, been running for quite some time, um, that's Decatur, and that's in Belgium, probably familiar with that. They are moving ahead, and it just makes me feel so great to have all of these cases going forward. Because one of them is bound to get a part. Well, I, I, you know, in this we see eye to eye, and, and I have to mention um, that uh, from uh, I, I get full support from a lot of people, and I am deeply grateful because people, people have no idea how meaningful it is for me to get just a little, you know, a, a thumbs up kind of thing. Because, um, you know, we're toiling away, working real hard here. You know, I'm racking my brain all day long. We have no idea how I'm racking my Because, you know, in, in theory, I have to go to a court and I have to present a case that the judge has to grant what I 
ask only if I can prove my allegations. So uh, I have to, every single pleading, I have to have evidence for it. And, and it's a huge responsibility uh, that I take very seriously. I'm obsessed with it. So um, it, it's a very um, hurtful to me that, that some people have to take into uh, doing like a, a, a defamatory campaign of me and of Richard Lighthouse and Charlie with Justice. And, and I can only say that, number one, the reason I was targeted is because I'm, I'm such an honest person, they couldn't catch me. They tried to entrap me in so many crimes and so many ethical violations, and they weren't able to. Uh, some people are going around saying, I shouldn't graduate from Columbia University. Well, to be my guest, you can, you know, I, I already posted a picture of it. I don't, I don't have to, I've never been like a person to brag about what I've done with my life. It's sufficient to say that if I wasn't who I was, I wouldn't be admitted to the U.S. District Court for the District of Puerto Rico, now the Southern District of Texas, the First Circuit. I have a number one, my oral argument, which was uh, on February 3rd, 2021, um, a huge Cruise Water Act case that uh, we prevailed. And I have, you know, I was there with the chief judge of that, you know, and uh, two other judges. And you can listen to the argument. So if anybody has a doubt that I'm an attorney, you know, um, I did go to New York. I did study in Columbia University, in Columbia College of Columbia University, in Art Barnard. And I graduated in 1989 from there, and I went to Puerto Rico to, to, try to battle for environmental justice and communities. That's how I started to get targeted, and I had no idea. You know, I was, I'm like an Eric Rock of the Scottish South. You know, she, 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 I, I never imagined, never imagined, I never imagined that something so horrible and atrocious and mean and cruel could occur and, and here's, here's the worst part my supposedly friends they sold me out they, they were working with the enemy and tramping me and, and, and providing information and they were I mean like my entire my family and my friends they were all my kids you know and uh, even the husband uh, the father of my son that I was only married to for 10 years was chosen for me by these folks. And uh, so now I, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that I'm meeting people that have very genuinely good souls and, and good hearts. Uh, but it's very sad for me to, to see how, you know, I went through a lot. I went hungry because my parents prohibited anybody from helping me. They destroyed my house, which was my soul so big gone, uh, so that I could never rent it again. And uh, because I, I had rent, I have a host of houses in San Juan and I decided to rent it. They wanted to take it away from me. So of course I had to file for bankruptcy in order to protect my house because that's the only thing I had left. And um, and and so they they tried so hard to he, here was their goal. See, see how disgustingly horrible it is. They wanted to force me into prostituting myself because I had to I had a two cats and a dog. And I can go hungry but not my animals, you know. He wanted to force me into prostitution in order to feed my animals and feed my son. That's, that's how, that's how, that's how wretched the people in Puerto Rico, not the people in Puerto Rico, the perps in Puerto Rico are, the oligarchs. I have the seen, corruption there. I have seen differences in the perpetrators between places. Anybody has a doubt that I'm a journey, you know. Um, I did go to New York. I did study in Columbia University, in Columbia College of Columbia University, in Art Barnard. And I graduated in 1989 from there, and I went to Puerto Rico to, to, try to battle for environmental justice and communities. That's how I started to get targeted, and I had no idea. You know, I was, I'm like an Harry Brock of the Scum South. You know, she, 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 I never imagined, never imagined, I never imagined that something so horrible and atrocious and mean and cruel could occur. And, and here's, here's the worst part. My supposedly friends, they sold me out. They, they were working with the enemy and tramping me and, and, and providing information. And they were, I mean, like my entire, my family and my friends, they were all my kids. You know, and 
I, even the husband, uh, the father of my son that I was only married to for 10 years, was chosen for me by these parents. And uh, so now I, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that I'm meeting people that have very genuinely good people and, and good hearts. Uh, but it's very sad for me to, to see how, you know, I went through a lot. I went hungry because my parents prohibited anybody from helping me. They destroyed my house with my 12 self income uh, so that I could never rent it again. And uh, because I had rent, I have a house in El San Juan and I decided to rent it. They wanted to take it away from me. So, of course, I had to file for bankruptcy in order to protect my house because that's the only thing I had left. And, um, and, and so they, they tried so hard to, he, here was their goal, see, see how disgustingly horrible it is, they wanted to force me into prostituting myself because I had to, I had a, two cats and a dog, and I can go hungry but not my animals, you know, they wanted to force me into prostitution in order to feed my animals and feed myself, that's how, that's how, that's how wretched the people of Puerto Rico, not the people of Puerto Rico, the curves in Puerto Rico are, the oligarchs, I have the corruption. Seen there. I have seen differences in the perpetrators between places like Philippines and now I'm hearing it um, about Puerto Rico. And there are so many differences in means of attack, uh, the things they say, the things they do. It's, it's just terrible. It really is. Well, I have to say, and this is for 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 all TIs and non TIs like people in the normal community. I because Puerto Rico is a popular tourist destination. Don't anybody there even get a tourist ache, salt there or 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 go to a hospital for anything because you're gonna get shipped. I am telling you. They are making money of shipping people. Don't you not even like a little whatever cost anything, not don't anyone go to any doctor there. Just get yourself on a plane and go to the United. Not that it's better here, but I think it's better here than over there. I'm telling you. So what they did to me was, was horrible, and it was in the course of various surgeries. Some were necessary, some were elective. And so I paid my doctors for them to destroy my life. Mm -hmm. That's terrible. So if you go to a dentist uh, and you get a root canal, chances are somewhere in with that material that they put in, there'll be a check. Yes. Yes. The, one of the worst cheats I have was I think I'm the one in the middle of my brain. It's one of the mouth is really on my collars. And you know, I am I'm a Christian woman and I but I don't go around telling, you know. So this dentist, she almost needed tambourine, she was singing all these Christian hymns and everything while she was working on me, while she was putting